Hey guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to control your rooted Android device using your computer and for this you need to of course have a rooted Android device as this only works with root so let's get started first thing you need to do is go to Google and type in Android screencast there it is you type in Android Screencast and uh, click on this first thing. You go to code.google.com slash all this stuff. So you go to this link. Here it is. Uh, so it asks you to download Android SDK on your computer uh, by clicking here. If you click here. And then when you click in here you will download a 60 MB file uh, and once it is downloaded you would run it so when you would run it you will find an interface like this if I just go to my downloads folder and look for that look for it um, where it is here it is so you would install this and you would run it so what you would get is uh, if I go to all programs, accessories, and write SDK tools, SDK manager. So if I go in here, uh, you would find an interface like this, and most of it would be written not install. So you need to install the packages. Now, what all things you take? First thing you take is tools. Of course, you need to take that. Then you take your Android version, whatever version of Android you've got on your device. For example, I have Android 2.3.3, so I tick this, and all of this got ticked, of course. Then also uh, take the extras, all the extras. You'll see that I have installed, but on your device, on your uh, this thing rather, it will be all uninstalled. So you need to install the packages. It would install it and then uh, you're ready to go mind you this is a very long time it will take a very long time and so you can always pause this video and proceed to do it it depends upon the various uh, internet speeds uh, really the internet speeds of your computer uh, you may okay so sometimes you may get some pop-up messages asking you to sign into some account but you just need to skip all that crap Okay, so you once uh, done installing that, uh, connect your device through USB cable and just do it and uh, make sure that your Android devices is connected to the, to the computer and USB debugging and app development is enabled. Okay, you need to do all that. And then of course you need to ensure that Java Runtime Environment 5 is installed in your computer. Uh, so you need to check the version of your uh, Java stuff. And if it is below 5 then you would want to go to the Java site and install and download the latest version. And then after doing this you need to click here and download an application. Uh, I'll click on save and it has downloaded. It is a very mini application. It is actually it actually uses your Java. So when you click on it, mind you, I have my um, cell phone connected to my computer. So it says getting devices list, and you, you did notice that it used my Java, and I already had Java 7 installed in this computer from default. And it'll say application error unable to launch the application. So how to fix this is by well you click on OK, then you run command prompt. So if I run command prompt C O M M A N T command prompt, there it is. Okay, so you run command prompt, then you get an interface like this. So what you type in is C T and forward slash cd forward slash and then press enter yeah, as you see it will open the c drive for you now what you need to do is uh, minimize this administrator uh, command prompt minimize this go to computer go to local c drive and uh, 
Where is this? Yes. Go to program files and then go to Android. Uh, notice that my computer has program files x86 written on it. Your computer may have simply program files where you would find this Android folder. Okay, so it depends on the various computers where you find this Android folder installed in your computer. So once you're in this Android folder, you go into Android SDK. Uh, go into platform two. Then what you need to do is open this command prompt. Okay, then restore this. Okay, shorten it. You are already opened command prompt. Then drag this ADB file to the command prompt. Yeah, you're done it. So what I need, what I did was drag this ADB file to the command prompt. Once you need to close this file, and you're left with this, you should see this. Now, what you need to do is uh, delete these extra stuff. These extra stuff. How you need to do is this: back, press backspace. Okay, so I've deleted it. Don't delete the slash. Okay. Now you also need to delete these three characters. That is the inverted commas, C, and hyphen. So deleting these three characters. Here you're done. And then type in C D. So it should come up like this actually. Uh, and once you it is like this, press enter. So it will open the um, C drive and the this thing that you just opened. Now you proceed to Write in all this, write in all this stuff in your command prompt and be careful to write it exactly the way it is written, okay? So type in ADB space S H E L L, press enter. Now it'll, it'll say something, it has started it successfully. Then type in S U S. Press enter. It it basically repeats whatever I am writing, okay? Then press press type in C H M O D space seven 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 space forward slash I mean sorry backward slash D A T A slash D A L V I K dash C A C H E. Okay, press enter. Oops, something went wrong. Yeah, I, I, I typed in double OD. That's not the way you do it. So I write in again C H M O T space 777 space slash data slash D A L V I K dash C A C H E. Now it should repeat it. So whenever it repeats it, that means you are doing it correctly then type in uh, cd space for backward slash d a t a slash d a l v i k dash c a c h e press enter then type in c h a m o d space 777 space backward slash here it is done it has repeated all what i have written now Minimize this administrative command prompt and once again go to the um, go to here which you had downloaded. So if I go to my downloads folder and I open this Android Screencast. It uses my Java 7. It is and here it is. It is showing my device. That's so so cool, isn't it? Okay, so I press on home. Uh, I'll first have to unlock my device. It unlocks it. It requires the code. It gets it. And I can control my touch with the help of the mouse. This is so cool, isn't it? Yeah, I know it is quite cool. You can go to your menu with this. 
back button, search button, all four buttons which you'd find. Of course, call and encode as well with your help of your computer. This is so cool. If I go onto my menu screen, I can control this. I can go into apps. And yeah, one feature I forgot to tell you, you can also use your computers. I'm sorry for this. Sorry. If I press back, yes, that should do it. If I press back. Yeah, one feature I forgot to tell you about is uh, you can use your computer's keyboard to actually type in messages. And I'll show you how it's done. If I open my messages, okay, so I'll type to compose. I'll type this is a test message for Android screen cars. Brilliant, isn't it? It's so so cool. So thanks guys for watching and yeah remember one thing each time you shut down and switch on your computer you would have to redo all the command prompts which I just did. That is these all these stuff. You have to redo all these stuff, okay? Um, so, if you've got any questions or query, then please feel free to leave a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching!